We have Wick Gross back with us now. The Celtics owner and uh, Eddie and Scout were part of that team, but Wick for you, I'd imagine that the 2008 championship uh, just never gets old. Uh, no, it's been however many years, and I'll remember it my whole life. And, and I, also the friendships, the bond, you know, we're just all connected, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's an unbelievable feeling. When, when we had that huge lead at halftime, when did you finally think, oh, yeah, we're definitely getting this? I, I went into the club, and Bill Belichick's in there. He uh, was our guest, uh -huh. and he's standing there with Steven Tyler, okay, also my guest, and I'm like, well, okay. I go, coach. Tell me to, something to calm me down. We're up 28 points at the half or yeah. something. He goes, you kidding me? You're the bleeping world champions. <laughs> <laughs> and Belichick, that got you. Yeah. Belichick <laughs> jinxed it at halftime. I'm like, of all the people that's not going to jinx it, it's Belichick. He bought a round for the whole bar, yeah. and then we went out there and killed him. So uh, on that run, uh, when we were in L.A., we were down 24. How was you feeling at that point? I know how we were feeling as players, right? How were you feeling? I was like, well, it's 2-2, I guess. You know, I mean, I, don't, I didn't think we were coming back from that. It was second quarter, 24, 25 points. I mean, it's like, well, all right, we'll just deal with it. 3-1 would have been nice, but we maybe let it go. And then all of a sudden, you guys all start. You made some shots. Ray Allen went around Sasha, I think, that game. Yep. Yeah. Finished layup. Torched him. Yeah. Posey, big shots. <laughs> Posey, huge Posey. shots. Yeah. We had and, that death lineup out there. And, and don't get a twist. Doc Rivers making the adjustment to go small. Before, really, the NBA has gone small. It was a big problem yeah. for the Lakers. Life, life was pretty good that night. Yeah. Well, hopefully it's pretty good tonight, too, uh, as, again, you're, you're hosting the Lakers and – what is this game like compared to the other 40 teams that, that come in? Not the 40 teams, but the other 40 home games that you have. Well, we don't even have to look back to history for this game. We can look back to the game in uh, whatever, late December or yeah. whatever that was. I was out there for that. We were up 20. They came back. They went up double digits. And then it's overtime win. That place was melting down. I've never actually heard the Staples Center or the Crypto Center that loud. That was crazy. So all, the, all we have to do is remember back like a month ago, and we can be riled up about this game. I, I've always wanted to ask you this question. So... When you bought this team, you had young players that you ended up trading for veterans and you won a championship. This route was very different. You drafted two young superstars, that, I mean, they, but they had to develop. Yep. How was it different being patient with young players that, and waiting for them to grow into championship level players? Well, it's been a great ride with them. We've been in however many, however many Eastern Conference Finals mm -hmm. with them. So I guess it, I can't say it's been a tough wait. We've been in maybe four of them. Sure. So we've been knocking on the door for four or five years with Jalen and Jason. And so now it'd be nice to take that last step. Yeah. All right. Meanwhile, uh, you also talk about kind of the, the trade deadline, everything else as you look ahead from an ownership perspective. Is there anything that as you're watching these games, watching this team with championship aspirations, anything, any feelings towards uh, whether or not you need to make adjustments to this team? Well, the conversation that I've had, what I'll share that I've had with Brad is, it's about this year. It's not about this will pay dividends in three years or this will do this next year. It is this year. Muscle up and let's go get the job done. So that's his uh, instructions, and that's what we're going to try to do. If, if there's anything to do, we'll do it. If not, we love this team. We're top of the league right now. I'm going to switch gears real quick. What was the reason to go get another practice facility? Because when we were here, we was practicing. <laughs> Have you been to that practice facility? I've been to it. They needed a new one. <laughs> you know, but this one right here is beautiful. What went into that? We just want to be top of the league. Okay, yeah, we're, right. what, third in percentage over the 20 years? I mean, I'd rather be first. But I'm glad we're not 25th. But we don't want to be 25th in anything. And that, that old facility uh, got us through a championship, but we needed to be the Celtics. And it's just different here. And it helps recruit guys, retain guys, keep guys healthy. And it's uh, team bonding over there. So I love that place. Wait, so it is a trade deadline coming up, but it's – is the, Joe Mazzulla, the interim tag, is that, a, is that a thing for you guys? Is that a thing that you guys have to uh, talk about going forward I mean, as you go into the playoffs? Or could he actually keep that tag all year long? Everything is subject to I – mean, uh, everything is way behind all that stuff. As far as Joe's concerned, I'm sure, and as far as we're concerned, it's more important to win these games, Got get it. to the all-star break, get through the trading deadline. You know, and then, then the playoffs will be coming up. And it's probably, that's probably, probably a decent time to think about it. But we're not thinking about anything right now except that – I appreciate the guys stepping up for Joe and for each other. Mm -hmm. It's not just Joe doing a great job, which he is, I think. It's the guys saying, we got this. We're going to make this work. We're going to move forward because we have to and we want to. And so I, I give them all credit, and I appreciate them all. And I would have to think that, you know, at 35 and 13, the best record in the NBA, you, you've got to be pretty happy with what you've seen from everybody, yeah. as well as Joe Mazzulla. I have been pretty happy. Um, you know, we're, we're down three in a row right now. So I was a little bit fried uh, the last few days. But it's, it's just, just 
Uh, so you ride that when they go the roller coaster, the 82 it's been games? 20, you, it's you've been, done it 20 years. You like watch you, me in the first quarter, and we miss one free throw in the first quarter, and I'll be like, oh, my God. Like, I'll be like, I, I can't look. i got to do an email. It's just the way it is. That's the way, I think that's what you want. You don't want somebody just yeah, sitting no, up for on sure. a, some boat somewhere. Yeah, but I, I know. But, like, just like we've been a part of the NBA for so long that you just understand the ups and downs of the league. Well, anyway, we, here we are, and it's the way I am. Yeah. <laughs> We also got the All-Star game coming up, and obviously Jason Tatum named a starter. You think Jalen Brown's going to be on there as well. What does this mean, you know, for you as an ownership group, for the Celtics uh, as in large to have those guys be up there among the top players in the league? Well, we know that they're not just the top players among the top players, but they're top people. They are great people, and it, it stems from that. I also, uh, we're hoping to get, you know, an All-Star game here, and we are working towards that. So it might be fun to have it right here someday. And that would be 2026, it, possibly? Hard to say, you know. They're not taking reservations right this minute. But, uh, <laughs> we're but on you're the on the door. <laughs> Knock it. <laughs> he knocked it. Yeah, it, it, as far as Tatum and Brown go, though, I mean, just the growth that they've yeah. had over the years and, and to see them at this level, like, how special is that to you? My favorite scenes are in the game. You know, some of them are like when you just see the little looks they give each other, they, you know, the little fist bump. That's, it's not a big showy thing, uh, passing the ball, sharing the ball. It, that when this team's moving the ball like it is this year, I mean, the, the pros can tell us, the champs can tell us what they think. But, you know, to me, this is beautiful basketball, and we're winning for a reason. All right, All you right. got the Lakers tonight. Uh, when LeBron James is in the building, is what's the juice of, of that when you see him coming down the floor? and I just immediately go back to 08 and sending him home. And yeah. uh, try to do that again. Whoa! <laughs> we did it in And I'm, I'm sitting next to Paul yeah. Pierce tonight to give, bring a little bit of that mojo. So yeah. uh, Paul and I were in the building in 08, just like you guys were. You're going to match him drink for drink? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> well, I was going to say, if, if Paul's sitting next to you, we saw Eddie House uh, during the finals down there as well. And, and Eddie brought the energy that night. I know yeah. that. Uh, what was that like? So, well, I'm going to give the call, the call to Eddie uh, you know, at halftime if need be. We need some luck tonight. Yeah. I'll be ready. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, I'm always ready. All right. Uh, Wick Grossbeck joining us here on uh, Celtics Pregame Live. Wick, thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Good Wick's luck lot. the rest of the way. Thanks.